Everybody, Chris from Prepare My 101. I got some new stuff to show you today. Um, I like doing this kind of stuff. I finally got my box of bench made, so I can do a few videos on that. And I like doing pocket knives. Um, <clears throat> a lot more than I like coming out in the woods and beating stuff through logs and stuff like that. It's just like, you know, it was 2013 when I started this channel. I mean, you expect somebody to be the same person for 10 years. I mean, that's unrealistic. When I come out to the woods, it's for other reasons than the craft bushes. But I do still like knives. I And I really like, you know, my EDC pocket knives, the stuff that I'm actually going to use every day. That's the stuff I like to do videos on. And I got, you know, thanks to Benchmade for sending me uh, this stuff to review. And I wanted to start with actually two of them. It's actually two because I already had another version of... Of one of these knives and it's been my favorite knife for I don't know nine months or more it's what I typically carry so as far as that one goes the um, I got a, a new Benchmade Claymore and this one has the Tonto point this you know the Claymore has been I mean you've seen it multiple times and it's just the way it is it's been my favorite knife not because they told me to say it's my favorite knife, because it just freaking is. Um, but when I saw the Tonto ones, I like, really wanted one. So I was glad uh, to get this one and revisit why I think this one is so good. But the other one that I got is a newer one. And I was really interested in trying this one out. And this one is the Benchmade Shootout. And this is one of their out the front ones. And it is CPM Crewwear Steel. So we're going to be uh, talking about this one as well. So if you want to know my thoughts on these, and there are some differences to consider when it comes to these we're going to talk about. Um, don't go away. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the newest one to come out here. And I'll give you my positives and negatives on this one. I wouldn't say the negatives are really a big negative. It's more of like, you know, the little minutia of personal preference that people have. And understanding that, you know, the way the human mind works, people are going to put a different value on different features or different things about what they actually like. So this, here it is, this thing, this thing runs a little bit over 300 bucks. And you might think, oh, I don't know what you think. But understand a lot of that is going to have to do with, you know what? Screw this camera, I'm going the other way. At least the front facing camera doesn't look constantly going in and out of focus because I'm too close. Anyway, as I was saying, this is an out the front automatic with CPM crew wear seal. So it's a big deal to some people. It's one of my favorites, uh, Crucible steels. I, I like most of what Crucible makes. I like CPM 3V for the big stuff. I like, uh, like crew wear is great for edge retention. And then I'm one of the few people that openly like CPM D2. Um, I, I don't remember who I had the conversation with a long time ago, but they said, you know what, if they would have just called it something else, because again, how the human mind works with the connections and neural pathways and stuff like that, you hear D2 and you think of that old D2 that nobody liked, and it's not the same as CPM D2, but we'll get to that. So I can say as far as the action goes on this one, it is very snappy. Now, I had handled some old Benchmade out the fronts in the past. They weren't mine, and I only hold, handled like one or two, so I can't say if there's any difference between the ones that I handled and any other ones, but I think they were infidels. And I thought that the action felt kind of like it was not as snappy. This is more snappy in the way that I'm used to back when I had the Microtex. 
like the ultra tax although the ultra tax is like it seemed to be a little bit different from each one but yeah this one the, the the action on this is really good really snappy now this one here's where it's going to get down into personal preference and it's one of those things that i feel as though <clears throat> it's almost a knife store purchase meaning like you might not like something looking at it on a picture but you might pick it up in your hand and feel differently so what this thing has going for it is it's lightweight it's lightweight um it's got the whatever the material is i'll put it on the screen um polymer material handle it's it's for the most part pretty smooth you got some grippy portions up here but as far as like the minuscule criticisms that I have, um, I think I might like this just a tiny bit better if it was black. But at the same time, it's like, oh, at least I'll see this one. And it really comes down to the material. So like if, if I, I don't know how much you can tell. It's almost imperceivable. But I feel like on this one and, you know, other, say... <clears throat> Benchmade Griptilians I've had in the past, uh, the material has a bit more shine, a bit more gloss to it than this one does. I feel like that would make it just look a little bit nicer. I mean, this is like their first batch or whatever, but um, I don't know. I <clears throat> I feel like with the colors, the color seems like uh, just slightly more dull, and it's an it's a simply an aesthetic thing that some people may may judge it on I don't know I mean I like that it's quick to open the actions great the buttons great it's not overly aggressive like this isn't gonna tear up your jeans like I've had some knives be it's lightweight and I'm gonna I'm, it's gonna be easier to spot this thing uh, being that it's red but I feel like if, if, if the material that it's molded from was just a little bit more on the shiny side, uh, this would carry more traction. So this one running somewhere around 310 to 315, largely because it's an out the front, it's a, it's a more complex mechanism, and because it is a higher quality crucible steel with CPM crew wear, I think that is pretty fair. Now if I got this and the, the action was crap or something like that, that would... That would take away from it, but I haven't put any kind of lubricant in here whatsoever. That's just how it is. Sometimes you put the right kind, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. It makes it seem a little snappier, a little bit smoother, but we're fresh out of the box. Uh, it came nice and sharp. I did a little touch up on the ceramic rod just because that's what I do. But overall, yeah, I really like this. 300 is kind of like you know your ballpark range when it comes to out you know quality out the fronts now if this thing had a more complex handle if it was aluminum or something like that you know that's going to jack the price up even more but that overall i really do like this one even though the the color i'm you know i'm pretty basic when it comes to colors and knives like i don't like flashy stuff but i do appreciate being able to see them i don't know how many times i got all these black edc items and it's like where the hell did i just set that down five seconds ago i can't find it where is it so <laughs> i mean that that's nice it's not too big it's not too small it's just right now let's compare it to my newest claymore so the claymore is a button auto flips out the side very strong it's got the lock not only keep it open but it also keep it from firing I have said many times in many videos that I love the handle on this it is perfect shape it is the perfect size um, the material does not feel cheapish at all and it feels just like a really solid EDC slash tactical type knife and as soon as I saw them come out with the Tonto points, like I wanted one. It's just, I'm still going to use the other one. I was, I did also have a Claymore with the combo edge, but I just prefer the, the plain edge, personally, me personally. 
but um, so I'd, I sold the combo edge claymore that I had and I've got two of these now but this one is uh, about 70 to 80 dollars less than this one and if you held these two in your hand this one's although not heavy it's got more heft this one's very lightweight it's, it's just a hair bigger in mass <clears throat> so it really comes down to you know hey which type of auto do you like better and some people just get really wrapped up on what steels they think are best or what they like but Benchmade was the company that made me believe in CPM D2. I freaking love CPM D2. My other one, at any given time, is one of the sharpest knives I have. Now, one of the sharpest not the sharpest knife I have is also a Benchmade, and that's the Anonymous. So I have another one of those to do a repeat video on because I got a, a I got the Anonymous when it first came out. And I kind of got a crappy sheath, so I got another one, and the sheath is fine on it. But that one, it, that one is also uh, CPM crew wear, like this one, and very thin profile. I mean, that thing is a cutter. That thing is this will slice space time. But <clears throat> even though I've got several different bench maids and several different steels, it's like they seem to have mastered the heat treat on these crucible steels because every one I get is like super sharp and I would say if they weren't believe me uh, but the something about the CPM D2 that if you're handy with a cera ceramic rod and I'm not talking about setting up some contraption on your desk or something I'm just talking about a regular hold it in your hand ceramic rod these thing like I don't think I've I've never used a work sharp on a Benchmade CPM D2 knife. There's no need for it. But I can make them so freaking crazy razor sharp. It's not even funny. And it does hold the edge for quite a bit. I mean, I don't notice some of this ridiculous testing that we do on knives. Like, oh, I'm going to cut sisal rope 700 times and see if it's good or not. Who does that? Honestly. <laughs> you open boxes from Amazon. You know, don't don't play. I know what you do. You know, you cut your fingernails with it. You play with it. And you can, you can take five freaking seconds on a ceramic rod, and it's razor sharp again. But, yeah, this has definitely got some, you know, point to it. This will definitely puncture a tire or something of that sort. So this one runs around 230 And I still think it's one of the... Unless you're really hung up on it being out the front... It's still one of the best autos for the price, in my opinion. And I have that opinion because I've been carrying one of these things in my pocket for a better part of a year. It's always super snappy. Block always works. I mean, I've got zero complaints about the Claymore. I freaking love the Claymore. This one being new, if I want to use something lightweight, if I want to play with the out the front, because I, I don't have any out the fronts anymore until this one. I used to have a bunch of them. But, uh, yeah, I probably will because I'm scientific like that. Put the tiny, 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 tiny bit of something in there. It just, um, it's, it's something I got in the habit with, you know, playing with the Microtex. It's just like I'm listening to these tiny reverberations of sound, like when it snaps in and snaps out. And just the tiniest bit of lube, like, just makes it perfect but action wise snappiness wise works great so either one of these are great it just comes down to you it comes down to you it comes down to what you like what your opinion is what your favorite things are what your values are what you need like I, I know there's this weird thing in the in YouTube that like everybody thinks like the talking picture machine is speaking to me directly and it's telling me that I must go purchase something. No, we, it's really not how it is. I'm showing you something in case you happen to go look at it and you want another 
perspective of someone that actually has it and you want some details and you want to see it moving and give you some of that you know it's up to you i'm not telling you to go buy anything so but if you like these then definitely you know if you like them well i like them too so just wanted to show those uh to you so there you go folks that is the the benchmade claymore tonto point and the benchmade shootout so I'll have links to these in the description box below if it's within your budget and if it's with something that you actually like and want or maybe you want to give it for a gift for this Christmas. I don't know, but they are pretty freaking nice. So I'll have links to those down below in the description box. And other than that, I do have several more to do here soon. So there's that. And I also have to get another video done on that uh, power station. If you didn't see that video, Go ahead and click on that and uh, check that out because that is like the most amazing freaking power station I've ever had in my life. The thing is awesome. Other than that, uh, Christian Prepare My 101. See you next time.